Yep, that's pretty much the way I spend every night dreaming of my Miss Angie. Howdy doody, everybody, I'm Mr. Bronson. First thing I do in the morning is kiss my baby. Mm-hmm, that's some good, sweet stuff. I don't have to do as much as she does in the morning. I pretty much just jump out of bed and I'm ready to go. Miss Angie, she's got this whole ritual she goes through and I watch her every, every step of the way. Mm-mm. What a good view I got from down here. I bet out of a full day, I could spend probably most of that full day thinking only of Miss Angie. I watch her all day, she's beautiful. I watch her take a shower, I watch her all day long. I could follow her to the ends of the earth. She is the love of my life, the apple of my eye. I'd do just about anything to have her just by myself. But unfortunately, the world doesn't work like that. We gotta get out and socialize. There's other people in this world that love to be with Miss Angie. Why wouldn't you? Look at those legs. Ooh, she's so pretty. You may think you have a tough job, but you ain't seen a tough job till you hang out with me all day. I start by kind of walking around, watching Miss Angie set up. Then I sit around, watch some customers come in. Cute dog. That's Mr. B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm beautiful. Everybody knows that. Thank you. Uh -huh. How you doing? Can I help you with something? Who's the guy? Do you have any fronters? Mm -hmm. In the humidor? There's something wrong with this man. I think I keep an eye on this guy. Sooner he leaves, the sooner me and Angie gonna be by ourselves anyway. Get them shady butt out. Oh no. Charles? There is nothing I hate more than the sight of this guy. Hey, hey babe. How, how are you doing? <laughs> Good, how are you? Alright. You know, I, I think I went to high school with that guy. Charles... Charles Braun? No, I don't know a Charles Braun, but he no. was really weird. Huh. Very strange. Okay. But Mr. Bronson was here to protect me, so... Everything. Oh. Mr. B, huh? Big tough guy. Is that your guard dog yeah, there? Yeah, big tough guy. Uh, Who do you think you do, are? You're some kind of funny man. Eight pounds, eight ounces, huh? What's wrong what do you, you think you got that I ain't got? Look at this physique. I am athletic and muscular. Um, be my parents. Yeah, That'd be nice. Big boy, come here. Come here. There you go. Good boy. What? The dog. I mean, does what it, about the dog? Does the dog have to always be, you know, right up in between us all the time? I mean, can we but just take a break from the dog for a moment and it just between you and I? The dog doesn't have to be in between What's us. What's wrong with Mr. Bronson being it's here? It's just, you know, he's always there and we can't have any time between ourselves. He's my dog. Okay. You that pissed off about it? Just once? One time? Okay. Fine. It'd be nice. Come on, big boy. Come on. You're Come gonna on. get on my last nerve. You don't even belong here anyway. Perfect dinner would be me and my Miss Angie by ourselves.
What's your problem with my dog? My problem with the dog is the dog is always here. I mean, come on. Can so we ever, I mean, just seriously, can we ever tell him together without the dog? Is he really bothering you that Yeah, much? he's bothering me. Why? Because he's a pain in the ass. He's always right in between us all the time. We can't have he's a moment. He's not in between us. We cannot have a moment without this dog right here in between us. You know what pisses me off? is the fact that all you do is complain about Mr. Bronson. You're so controlling over the situation of Mr. Bronson being around us. All the time, all you're doing is being preoccupied by Mr. Bronson anytime you're around. Oh, I. I. Me. Yeah, So, you. since when is this all about me? It's not all about you. Well, maybe I don't need to be here. Come here, big boy. Come here. See? I usually get what I want, but lucky for me, there's only one thing I want in this whole world, and she's walking right beside.